Let's see how a flow cytometer works. The equipment has five elements. A fluid system, lasers, an optical system, the detectors and the computer system. In the cytometer, there's a circulating flow of liquid called sheet passing in front of the laser. The sample that we want to analyze is injected into the sheet of the cytometer. When it reaches the laser beam, the sample of cells or molecule have been queued into a single line due to a technique called hydrodynamic focusing. The laser produces light of sharply defined color and direction. The required profile of the laser beam, elliptical or spherical, can be specified by selecting an appropriate set of lenses. The whole cell is illuminated as it passes through the laser beam, dispersing the light which is hit the detectors. The detectors are photodiodes, electronic equipment that converts light into electricity. The bigger the cell, the bigger the light scatter area and thus the electric signal created by the diode. Depending on the amount of electricity detected by the diode, the computer plots the signal more to the left or to the right on the x-axis, which indicate the size of the cells. The height of the plot is the number of cells of each type. The diode sensitivity or voltage can be adjusted to better separate the different types of cells so the cytometer can provide an accurate counting. The laser is also responsible for exciting fluorochromes attached to molecules. In this case, the laser of a certain color or wavelength can excite only a specific fluorochrome. Therefore, the cytometer may work with various laser colors in order to match different fluorochromes. We can differentiate the types of cells by the number of fluorochromes attached to it. The larger the number of fluorochromes in a cell, the higher the emission that reaches the detector, meaning that the cells with many fluorochromes will plot more to the right of the x-axis. The number of cells of a certain type is shown on the y-axis.